On this channel, I've been talking a lot about goals, my goals, the things that I want to do, how I want to achieve them. But I take this time today to ask you what your goals are. What are the things that drive you passion wise to do anything? I mean, the more I think about it, the more I've been hearing from you all what you kind of care about in terms of what you want to do, what you want to achieve. And one of the biggest things I think that led me to this point of being very consistent and putting out these videos is being upfront and forthcoming with my goals. And sometimes we know what we, our goals are and our objectives, but a lot of times we're thinking either short term or long term, and we don't think about both at the same time. So and how they all interact and kind of go into each other. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll put together short term goals and I'll put together long term goals and then I will kind of find a mid year mid term goal mid term. But I say mid term is in like short term being like a year because a year is actually pretty short. Long term being like five years. Long term to me is like five years. Um, and then mid being like three years and where I want to see myself in those places and what I want to see myself doing and what I want to see myself achieving, what I want to see myself learning um, and really just thinking about the things that lead me to that point. And I know many people say that like, where do you see yourself in one year? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You know, whatever. My puppy's drinking. I'm sorry. But where do you see yourself in that time? And like people are like, uh, I don't know. But the reality is it's because they have one long goal in mind right like oh I want to be an astronaut and this is how I'm going to get there or they have one short one in mind I want to learn a language by next year but they don't think about the other things that can, they can do when they're burned out when they're tired when they aren't really sure how to achieve them and realistically we're humans we have setbacks we have issues with progress we have ruts um, some people might want to learn financial literacy. Some people want to might learn want to learn another thing. Some people might want to learn more about their mental health. There's so many different goals and things that people want to achieve. So I take this time to ask you what your goal is, how you want to achieve it, and the ways to get there. For me personally, I use a book. I keep all my goals in a notebook, and I check them off as I go. It makes me feel like I'm really, you know, checking the buttons of where I want to be and it gives me kind of energy momentum to keep going when it gets hard because it does it's it's hard to make a video every day it's hard to try and make music it's hard to you know consistently show up for work and everything else and we tend to overlook that the things that we do well and exceed with and so with trying to go with these goals you have to think about the things that you're doing well you have to pat yourself on the back. You have to reward yourself. You have to think about things that you've accomplished that you didn't think you would or that you did and you're proud of and then build on from there. You want to start building momentum to keep climbing for those things. And so that's where I ask what your goals are. What are the things that you're interested in? Well, how do you want to achieve it? You want to use a notebook? You want to use Notion? You want to use Notepad? You want to use a computer? Like what... How do you want to track it? Because that's really what matters. I think a lot of times people are gurus and, you know, kind of tell you what they do and expect it to work for everyone or, you know, sell you a course or something. For me, it's like there's no set way to do something in many cases for yourself and there's no one way that's right for everybody. I like to write in a notebook. I like to draw. I like to do things like that. Some people don't. Some people like to type. Some people, even like my girlfriend probably types her stuff up more than I do. But it helps her and that helps me. So it's one of those things where I, you know, kind of push to figure out what my goals are by asking myself that question. And now I ask you that question. And if you want to tell me what they are, let me know in the comments. Till then, I'll see you tomorrow.